Morning, my friends. Let's have some fun. This is going to be tremendously educational. I'm always talking about how people don't know how to talk. And if people are given the opportunity to speak, they'll speak themselves right into a hole, especially, 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 especially if anybody ever tried to talk about duality, they would think that they know how to speak then you'd speak yourself right into a hole. You would expose the massive hypocrite that you are. And I have a great example of it. It's not meet Kevin. It's this other guy. Let's do it. What you're about to watch is an experiment of a podcast while flying to a destination. Oh, what? no, it's an, exper it's an experiment of when you give people a microphone and they're not qualified to speak. Just speak. That's the general public. You are going to learn a lot here today. I would love for you to do is leave me a comment down below if you liked what you saw. Should we do it again? Let, 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 let's get on it. Let's get on get it. Started. Welcome All to right. the first ever Mile High Podcast. We have... Okay, uh, well... Three, four, five times in the exact same neighborhood. It's, you don't know here, what you're here, here we go. In person experience. It's this guy. This guy right here. Yeah. Are you? Your turn. Yeah. This guy that's about to speak right now, he wants to be the center of attention. He wants to speak. He wants to be the boss. Great. Everybody, everybody should want to be the boss. Everybody should want to talk. This is what happens when you continuously try to speak and you don't know that you're not qualified. I wonder if this was a massive learning. This guy would have had to have feel, felt like a big dumbass after this. Continuously trying to speak and you just reveal yourself to yourself as a hypocrite. This is what will happen when you are trying to figure out what this middle path thing is, especially when you very first come to the mystery school and you start getting to know yourself, this is one of the first things that you learn that you don't know how to talk. That when you come to the mystery school, you learn how to walk and you learn how to talk because this is you. This is everybody. When you go to speak about duality, you make yourself a hypocrite to yourself and disqualify yourself. Oh, I, I mean, adding on to that in-person experience, um, talking with the local community, talk, I mean, the other day we were in Salt Lake and we talked to that uh, barista, super nice guy. Um, he told us the lowdown about every single little community, every single facet of that, of that community. And um, I mean, we were in that sandwich shop too. I mean, you, you were talking with the um, owner. the owner. Hey, bro, did you want to make a point about something? You see when like intelligent people talk, they actually like make a point about something and like we're talking about something and it has, um, dude, you're going to bust yourself being an idiot. Uh, you know, stop the guy who was buying a sandwich, asked him about, you know, he told me there's some fault line, which you would have never, you know, learned about it. I mean, it's probably not, you know, a big deal or, or whatever, but you know, you get like these, these little. Uh, what, what, what was it that? What, bro? Huh? Did you realize that you disqualify yourself when you speak? It's these little understandings that you could not get online because you wouldn't even know what to search for. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was totally irrelevant, dude. It's made no sense at all. Meet Kevin would have to be laughing at this shit going, damn, dude, it's cringy when you speak, but it's like cute. It's like cute how uneducated you are and you never really spoke in front of people. So you don't know how you, you don't know how you're a massive hypocrite to yourself and you disqualify and we can see it. We can see you disqualify yourself. You haven't gone with us yet. Well, Th this is a big deal. Nobody will be able to stand up to Satan because of these reasons. Nobody will ever be able to speak. Everybody will be this massive. Everybody already is. But um, what we get here is, th is this dude that speaks, he really highlights it. 
he really highlights that human condition for uh, for us all. He really highlights that just nobody knows what anything is and everybody speaks out of their ass. We got. I'm looking for the next part. Here we go. Here's the next part with him. All right, bro. Tell me how you don't make sense again. What what is it? How do you disqualify yourself from speaking? I mean, I think it's. It's without a shadow of a doubt that there's been a change in the secular trend. Oh, oh, he was already, oh, he's been speaking a lot here. About my real estate values at that point. So uh, earlier we were talking about macro. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts on the macro cycle. <laughs> so uh, for the macro stuff relating to real estate, I mean, I think it's, it's without a shadow of a doubt that there's been a change in the secular trend up to more of a trend down. I mean, essentially, yes, a trend down, um, you know, all throughout the country, talked to, I mean, already a bunch of agents that we visited and stuff, um, uh, you know, from Little Rock to uh, uh, Salt Lake, you know, here to here in California. Prices uh, are uh, what, dude? Yeah, yeah, all saying the same thing. Prices are going down, will probably continue to go down. The question is how much the magnitude at which they go down in the specific area. And I mean, that's why we're, you know, flying everywhere to really try to find the, the good sustainable markets that we see growth and, you know, potential in and we see value in like a, a wedge deal with it of a city itself, or, you, you know, essentially. So um, who, but who are you explaining it to? They're all in the jet flying with you and you're all going to look at real estate it's weird how you're telling a story like you're telling it like you're a rich person that's going to meet up with your rich buddies and get on a plane but you're literally in the plane with the friends and you're talking about it like you're talking to other what what are we doing here i mean the derivative of all of this secular change is, I mean, macro, the meme or whatever, right? Um, but uh, it comes down to interest rates. Uh, I mean, whatever Powell has said he has done since fall of 21, he said he was going to raise it. You know, there's a lot of Fed speak, but, you know, eventually. He it's like he never says anything. And, oh, you know what I could, you know what I think it is? It's like a guitar solo and somebody learned a bunch of different licks but never learned how to just play a guitar solo, just how to improvise solid, um, cohesive, coherent guitar solos. And instead you learn, oh, I learned this Eddie Van Halen lick. Then I learned a Steve Vai lick. Then I learned a Dimebag Daryl lick. Then I, le I learned a um, Holland Oates lick. Let, let me try to band-aid all of those together into a guitar solo. Oh, I don't know how guitar solos work. I don't know how any of this shit works. Just let me band-aid shit together. That I, and, that, and when this guy speaks, it sounds like he took a bunch of shit and band-aided it together of things that other people speak, said. But when he's done speaking, we all sit there going, what was the fucking point? And then, he, then he's like, give me a Scooby snack. You're, you're supposed to give me a brownie button. Actually did it. People were saying he's going to pivot, but uh, he kept on sticking with it. Uh, you know, it, it becomes a hot topic. And I guess the big debate over the like the big, big macro, like we were talking about earlier is, you know, will he actually pivot? Like the, these are a bunch of people that want to convince other people that they're wealthy. These are a bunch of people that want to convince, uh, they, they want to appear a certain way to so all of their life is a facade they're, he, they're they're literally on the fucking plane it, it's me kevin's brand new plane this dude bought this fucking jet that's nice really fucking cute and nice and they're all look at how everything's a facade of life they're literally doing it they're in the jet they're wearing their nice suits they're all they they all make good money at least kevin make is a is a millionaire and then they talk like they're not in the jet. They talk like they're everything is a fucking. Do they ever achieve it? Because they they have it. They're doing it, but it's like they talk like no one's ever done it or they haven't done it. And isn't it just strange? Isn't it just strange? And if he does, what will happen with rates? Do they go negative like we see in Europe and Germany, like you mentioned? I, I mean, what would you say the other? Uh, what you say about Germany recently? Yeah, yeah. Well, before the COVID. Pandemic. And then you would, Kevin would have to think that whoa, that was cute. All that rambling that that motherfucker did, that was sure cute. And then Kevin makes sense. I mean, Germany went to negative rates on savings, and we we were talking about wow. There is, you know, I guess it's a boss and employee thing. Kevin is the boss, so he has to 
do real things and say real things and progress needs to happen. And the employee here is just trying to say shit and make everybody think that he's smart. Possibility that the world goes negative again with it, certainly within our lifetimes, I think, honestly, within the next decade, uh, which is wild. But uh, yeah, earlier before we started the Mile High podcast yeah, to catch let's everyone get, up. Let's get more of them. Boy, I would it's, rather it's watch the fucking bond market than the stock market over the last year. Yeah, yeah if I could add on to that, yeah. I mean, essentially the bond market is, that's where the money is. That's the most money. I mean, uh, factors times bigger than the equity markets and these are the guys who are managing pensions you know all that money all the money that you know that you know 401k is going to it, everything wealth managers it all gets funneled eventually into the bond market and the guys there's a small number of guys not small but I mean you know, proportionally small huh? number what, what, what dude huh what, what? Of people uh, who really you know trade the markets manage uh, the bond markets and look at Kevin's face Look at Kevin's face. It's like, dude, this is going downhill, bro. Everything that you say, you catch yourself as a hypocrite. Then you have to backtrack on it. And it looks dumb. These are smart. Th this is every single human being trying to comprehend duality, trying to speak and explain, understand, have a conversation about what is that red and blue? What, I what even is it? You have someone like, you know, Jeffrey Gunlock, a uh, billionaire, uh, a bond market f uh, fun guy. I mean, if, if you're interested in learning about the bond market, that's the, that, that, he's, he posts his stuff on YouTube, like his thoughts straight up. Um, but um, yeah, you have people like that really saying, you know, inflation is going to come down dramatically. And he's not only talking the talk, he's walking the walk by, you know, the way he's managing the money and bond, like the bond. Oh, market we know you're talking the talk, man, because you're just. Ta the, it's you're just repeating and band-aiding together a bunch of things that people said but we don't we're not getting any thing of like do you know anything um what what do you think what is your educated guess on it itself shows what the consensus bond managers believe and what they are I understand if you're watching this and you're wondering you know what is this video even about this, I'm trying to show you why nobody in the world can stand up to Joe Biden. Why does Joe Biden win with Jim Crow? Why does Joe Biden win with, hey, you ain't black. Yay, hey, all you black people. You have to do what I tell you or you'll be kicked out of the black community. And it's a real thing. Black people have to do what Joe Biden tells them or they get ostracized from the black community. I'm trying to show you that all human beings speak like this when it's time to do truth, when it's time to make a difference, when it's time to stand up and say real shit and do real shit. This is what happens. This is because we have no education in ourselves. The, the education you get at the mystery school is what's supposed to overcome this. You're learning to walk and you're learning to talk. When If any human being ever thought that they were going to say anything about, hey, hey, Joe Biden, what's up with that Jim Crow? See, Joe Biden doesn't have to worry about anybody ever standing up to him. And Joe Biden doesn't have, because when human beings try to stand up and they try to talk about this shit, they disqualify themselves. If you ever wondered, why does Joe Biden get away with what he does? Why is Joe Biden allowed to do all the shit he does? Because any human being that tries to stand up to it, let me show you what they do. Walking the walk by, you know, the way Exactly what this dude's doing is what all human beings, this is why we get nowhere. This is why the Jim Crow beats everything and everybody. Nobody can stand up to it. Nobody can stand up to Antifa. Nobody can stand up to BLM. The money and bond, like the bond market itself shows what the consensus bond managers believe. And watch Kevin's face. That's what we should be doing is like, imagine somebody was trying to stand up to Joe Biden and then look how they don't know what they're talking about. It's pretty difficult to understand how Jim Crow works. It's pretty difficult to understand how all this shit works.
what they are pricing in right now is, you know, that invert. That's a definition of an inverted yield curve. They think it's gonna eventually. Look pivot. at Ke look at Kevin. He's like, oh boy, this sure is cute. Boy, look how this dude never says anything at all. So what do you think the the long term effects? Yeah, he never says anything at all. It's like a bunch of band-aided shit together that other people said. He has no wise words of his own, no comprehension of his own. Boy, is this shit cute. And then the microphone's given back to Kevin, and Kevin has no problem speaking. On more like society political things would be if you know rates do go negative and how the, do you do you do you know how you know what the problem is here? It, it's a contemplation. This dude doesn't contemplate on his own life. This dude doesn't meditate and contemplate on who he is, uh, who he believes he is and what he believes in. And he doesn't critically think his ideas and he thinks that he does. But obviously he doesn't because when he opens his mouth, he's a walking contradiction. More like society political things would be if you know rates do go negative and how do you like first the problems kevin that you think would arise from that and also some solutions to those problems yeah, you know i think the first thing that we immediately think is and, oh, then, and then it's like thank god you gave the fucking microphone back to kevin holy shit the fed's gonna collapse the dollar's going to collapse it's over us do so let's get let's get try to get him again let's see where he is uh, Kevin gonna t Kevin's talking and talking and talking. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The downturn with you know Japan. The uh, oh, let, let's get it. All, let's get it all the way back. All happening in reverse, and that it's it's not going to be like the COVID pandemic. It's gonna be slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the difference between like the downturn with you know Japan, you know, not having enough, just a true real economy. They didn't need, like the growth there. And you're saying Black that babies being born. Yes. Yeah, so, so do you think it's that that's what I was going to go into? Do you think, like, you know, is that because oh, oh, uh, what, what you were going to go L listen to this? He's trying to, uh, he's trying to explain an analogy of Kevin's. It's like, dude, what give your own analogy. What do you, how do you understand it? What do you think is going to happen? What is your educated guess? What's your wisdom on it? And then his wisdom is, yeah, Kevin, you had an analogy. I didn't ask you to repeat my own analogy back to me. I asked you what is yours? What is, show your own work. Not having enough, just a true real economy. They didn't need like the growth there. And you're saying, you, you know, see, think about it. Isn't this the problem? If we were going to talk about mystery school stuff, isn't this the problem of people, the people that take all the scriptures and they divide them all up and they don't understand the context on them? Isn't this the same shit? Just like how the Christians understand scripture is they don't understand the con the true context. They just divide it all up into a bunch of, uh, of just separate things that they skew the context. Yeah, yeah so... The difference between like the downturn with you know Japan, you know, not having enough, just a true real economy. They didn't need, like the growth there. Like you're it, saying like it we would be asking this guy. If if we were doing esoteric things, it would be like, Okay, what did you learn from them? And he's going, I read chapter five, then I read chapter six, then I read chapter seven, and we go, Okay, what did you learn from it? Then he goes, Yeah, but I read chapter five. And I go, I don't care if you read chapter five. I'm asking you what you learned from him. And he goes, Yeah, but after I read chapter five, I read chapter six. And I go, Shut the fuck up with that stupid shit and told me tell me what you learned. And he goes, Yeah, but see after chapter six, I read chapter seven. Japan, you know, not having enough, just a true real economy. They didn't need like the growth there. And you're saying Black that babies being born. Yes. Yeah, so, so do you think it's that? That's what I was going to go into. Do you think, like, you know, is that because population? The, look at Kevin's face. Kevin is literally disgusted or like, dude, uh, you're, you're, it's, that's my analogy. Why are you repeating my analogy back to me? Aren't you supposed to be telling me about something? Of just a true real economy they didn't need like the growth there and you're saying Black that babies being born yes yeah, so so do you think it's that that's what i was going to go into do you think, like you know is that because of population trends what what do you i mean i know the population in the u.s i mean everywhere has been declining but we still have relatively you know higher population uh, uh levels and i mean growth the, the we're still are, huh? I want to be what? clear. Are, what, 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 you want to be clear, bro? We're oh what what what, what, what? Uh, levels and I mean growth. Well, uh, 
we're still i want to be clear we're growing but not as much as we used to oh i want to be clear guys i whoa it's one of those things like oh shit uh, i continuously catch myself as a hypocrite even when i'm not being one the, the, we're still i want to be clear we're growing but not as much as we used to so i want to make that clear the rate of growth is decreasing yes so yes exactly so are, what other factors do you think there are other than uh, population and also going into population is that just societal is that like you know values what like huh? i mean this is like what? you know big big macro stuff or whatever right but um yeah what do you think yeah, so well eventually i think what will happen is you'll you'll actually hey, what, what did you repeated his own analogy back to him and then passed him back the microphone to ask him what he thinks of his own analogy um, I mean, you get oh, bro, dude, did you want to? This is what people look like when they try to explain duality. You, <laughs> we, we will, we will double our population almost overnight. The, then me as the mystery school teacher, you hand me back the microphone, and I go, "Look how easy it is. It's the, it's actually the most complicated shit in the world to, to try to talk about duality at all." Because so many people would love to be here. Anyway, we, go ahead with the blue collars. See, this dude's just trying to explain regular old shit imagine if we asked them to explain duality but even kevin all these people ask any of these anyone to talk about all the stuff we talk about at the mystery school and they will disqualify themselves from speaking every single word they say every time they open their mouth the the opposite end of everything will come to bite them in the ass no, I just wanted to know, I mean, exactly what you're saying, uh, you know, there's a shortage of labor. We're already starting to see that. Um, I mean, you get into UBI and that type of thing. But um, with immigration, I, I totally agree. If you are able, it's like, a, there's nothing. It's a skill. It's a skill that you learn how to do, but it's learning yourself. You're, you learn yourself to develop the skill. Oh, this guy wants to be the boss. Great. Great. I, people should want to be successful. That's what you should be learning here at the mystery school is part of it is how to be successful, especially if that's what you want to do. So this guy wants to be successful. He wants to be the boss. And I bet you this was a big learning experience. He had to have after this experience he of because he wants to be in the front. Cool. Great. You want to be a leader. This is a skill that you learn. You learn to talk. You learn and this, he must have went home and went, damn, boy, did I make an ass out of myself every time I opened my mouth. But I sure do love to open my mouth. And you should. Great. So when you open your mouth, let's make sure that you make sense. Type of thing. But um, with immigration, I, I totally agree. If you are able, like, there's nothing inherently wrong with immigration. I mean, America was founded oh, you're on... You're do, doing it again, bro. You did it again. You started speaking. Then you found out you're a fucking dirty-ass hypocrite. Then you tried to make it all okay. And then you dug a deeper hole. Then you tried to make that shit okay again. And you dug a deeper hole for yourself. And you just, you're just you a professional hole digger. Guy and that type of thing. But um, with immigration, I, I totally agree. If you are able... Like, there's nothing inherently wrong with immigration. See, and if you wanted to know more context, like like I can directly tell you, if you wanted to say, make this more esoteric, I could make it as, so profoundly esoteric as in, we're doing the thing. Imagine we're in the Buddhist monastery or something like that, and you would walk, you would walk fucking 20, 50, 100 miles uphill in the snow to the buddhist mon monastery freezing to death with frostbite just for me to close the door on you and tell you to get the fuck out of here and um you would do and you know what you know why you you wanted to get into the into the monastery you know why what you wanted me to teach you is the only thing that we're doing inside the monastery is each student is supposed to come up to me and then be their authentic self to find out that it's absolutely impossible to do in front of the teacher. See, like, it's a, the, this one, this dude's just trying to speak. Look how it's impossible for him to be his true self. If we were doing mystery school, it would be all of us in the mystery school. And it would be, okay, it, and isn't that what this guy's trying to do? He's desperately trying to impress Kevin, the, this dude, when he speaks. But 
he fails. He fails to impress anybody at all when he speaks. Starting to see that. You know why? Because he's trying to show off his authentic self, but he's showing off a facade of himself and it's coming off like, hey, dude, you're showing off the facade of life. Oh, you're and you're making yourself a hypocrite while you do it. Well, but exactly what you're saying, uh, you know, there's shortage of labor. We're already starting to see that. Um, I mean, you get into UBI and that type of thing. But um, with immigration, I, I totally agree. If you are able, like, there's nothing inherently wrong with immigration. I mean, America was founded on immigration. And that's why, I mean, arguably, you were saying. Uh, there are problems with immigration policy. Yeah, yes. It's the way that, yes, yeah. The, 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 the fundamental nature of immigration. It, it's weird, bro. It, it's like if somebody was a racist and then they were trying to convince us that they're not a racist, but they believe that they're not a racist and then they are a racist and then they really aren't and it's like what 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 kind of hole are you digging yourself now founded on immigration and that's why i mean arguably you were saying uh, there are problems with immigration policy yes, yes it's the way that yes yeah, yeah. The, the 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 fundamental nature of immigration there's nothing wrong with that it's it's the way in which it's being handled in the way uh, that you know, it's the stigma, some stigma behind it. The way, it, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, how can I band band aid together those Republican talking points? Let, let can I band aid those together? How do the, how do you repeat those? How how do I how do I do it? In the way uh, that you know, it's the stigma, some stigma behind it. The way, it, yeah, yeah, it's being managed such you know. I mean, if you, you can kind of think of the U.S. as, I mean, any country, it's kind of like a company, essentially, right? Oh, and you yeah, need what, good what, management, right? You need, you need to have that, you know, fundamental, I, I mean, ideals and, what, and values. What, 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 what exactly are you saying? What, what exactly, what, what is the point that you are trying to make? What are you saying here? You need to have that, you know, fundamental... I, I mean, ideals and, and values and not have biases, but I, I anyway, sorry. Um, what, with the uh, what, what's wrong, bro? Did you catch yourself being a hypocrite once again? Yeah, yeah, I, I know you did. Yeah. Thing I, go ahead, uh, what, 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 what was that, dude? Uh, huh? you, need, you need to have that, you know, fundamental, I, I mean, ideals and, and values and not have biases, but I, I, I anyway, sorry. Um, with the blue collar thing, I, go ahead, go ahead. He, he realized he was a hypocrite. He was like, oh, shit, I got all these biases. So then I should say, oh shit, to properly speak, you shouldn't have biases because all my biases and my opinions and my great intentions, they're all getting in the way of, and making a massive hypocrite of me. Maybe I shouldn't have a bunch of random opinions. Maybe I shouldn't have a bunch of biases. Maybe all these things is like trying to remember lies. So what if I just dealt in the 100% truth of things and educated guesses that are to the best of my ability, far beyond opinion. You know what opinion used to mean. But um, wouldn't we do so much better? You know, that this whole thing of where we're trying to band-aid together Republican talking points, and it, it, it's just as hard as if you told a, a shit ton of lies then you were trying to remember the lies that you told. How about if we just dealt in the truth? It wouldn't be like we're always trying to remember the lies that we're telling ourselves. You need you need to have that, you know, fundamental, I, I mean, ideals and, and values and not have biases. But I, I anyway, sorry. Um, huh? With the blue collar thing. I even, what I was that? Ahead. What was that, bro? See, this is exactly what it's like to be the teacher of the mystery school. Every single time somebody tries to talk to you, this is it. The, this is it. I... The, if anybody ever tries to talk to me, this is what happens to you. There, there was You fight yourself. Anybody that ever tries to fight me, you immediately get put to war with yourself. This is what you get put to war with. You. That you thought that you knew you. But you is nothing but a skeleton closet of your own lies. You, who believe, who you believe you are and everything you believe in is just a series of lies that you hide from yourself and you never seen it. And now, now that you thought it's, it's showtime now, it's time for you to speak, get up on stage, speak into that microphone to learn that you don't know how to speak. Learn that every single fucking word that you say reveals how you're a massive hypocrite, but it's not us that has to say it. It's you who reveals you're a massive hypocrite to yourself. It's you who disqualifies you.
you need you need to have that you know fundamental I, I mean ideals and, and values and not have biases but I, I anyway sorry um with the blue collar thing I do you, you, do you know how you know how I'm gonna get you over this do you know how you're gonna learn to walk and you're gonna learn to talk that there was never anything to be afraid of I'm gonna show you how dumb everyone is I'm gonna show you how dumb everyone and every fucking thing is because this comes from fear this comes from a fear a lack of self-esteem as as all these people have very high self-esteem no this comes from a lack of self-esteem right here this this comes you you don't understand how awesome you are and you think that you have to have fabrications of yourself you think that you have to impress us with lies of yourself and all you ever had to do is just bring you that, that's the rules for everyone and everything. Nobody ever had to impress anybody with anything. We're, we're just impressed when you are authentically yourself. But we all think we are until it's showtime. Oh, get up on stage and give you the microphone. Let, let's learn that you don't know how to speak so that you can learn how to speak. U.S. as I mean, any country, it's kind of like a company, essentially, right? Huh? And you need good management. What, what, what was that, bro? You, we, we thought that you were talking to me, but really you were just um, fighting yourself. You, we thought that we were all having a conversation on real estate or whatever it is, but all you did was um, out yourself to yourself as the massive hypocrite that you are. You need, you need to have that, you know, fundamental... I, I mean, ideals and, and values and not have biases, but I, I anyway, sorry, um, with the blue collar thing, I have to go huh? everywhere, but what was that, bro? the blue collar thing, uh, and the trade schools, essentially, as you're saying, you know, you know, uh, wages will increase over time, but as we were talking about earlier, I mean, money is, it doesn't huh? matter what the currency is, what matters is the goods and the services that, you know, GDP, we're growing. Exactly. I mean, 200 years ago, you know, standards of living has have gone up for everybody. What? And that's dude? because of capitalism. That's Talk because of yesterday. Yes, we did. And I mean, if you are able to bring in more blue color or bring in anybody and be able to. Tra Kevin's realizing one of his superpowers is just being able to talk. To you know, be white color or blue color. And you but but don't let it confuse you. The, that's what's fun about this. Kevin is used to being the boss, so he knows how to speak. To just understand, if we were talking about esoteric things, now everybody's a deer in the headlights. Kevin, this is we're playing in Kevin's area of real estate. If we were playing in the area of Gnostic Gospels, now everybody's this massive hypocrite. Now everybody doesn't know how to talk. Bring in anybody. We, we ask Kevin, hey, Kevin, start talking about duality. Then Kevin also all, all of a sudden starts talking just like this guy does. And I mean, if you are able to bring in more blue color or bring in anybody and be able to train and, them. And, and I'm sure you guys, you would have had to experience it. I make these videos so freely, especially the ones that I used to make or I make every now and then where I'm just specifically talking about duality you would have had to have tried to explain that to somebody. Some of the stuff that I've taught you about, do you've had to have gone to repeat that to somebody, show that to somebody, share it with them. Then you start speaking and you're like, whoa, wasn't you? You're like, whoa, it's I can't. You're like, whoa, I disqualify. I can't even explain it because every minute, I do, every second, every word, I disqualify myself just like this guy's doing to himself. I mean, if you are able to bring in more blue collar or bring in anybody and be able to train them to you know, be white collar or blue collar and you, you create value and it, it, everybody grows. And no, the, I, the fact that everybody does this when it comes to duality is the fact that Joe, that Jim Crow, Joe Biden gets to do all the shit that he does because there's nobody that can stand up to it. I mean, yeah, so I, Every single human being looks like this when they try. I totally agree with that. Uh, what do you think? Or, yeah, no, 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 ask a question. Why? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. So, yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to touch on that because I interjected that yesterday. We talked about that idea about how in the 1940s, regarding the standard of living you're talking about so this video is long enough super 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 fun i hope everyone has the greatest day and the greatest life you could possibly have